It's that simple. And then he outlines layers, uh, sorry, levels of tawakkul. He says, the masses, they read la ilaha illallah, kalimatu tawheed, right? They read, there is no God worthy of worship except Allah alone. They read that and they believe in it. They believe in its apparent meaning. And that's it. And he says, and this is the faith and the creed of the, of the masses. I mean, this is sufficient, inshallah, to get you to Jannah, bi'idhnillahi ta'ala. You might go through a period of process of purification. We ask Allah to protect us from that. But from a creedal standpoint, it's sufficient to get us to Jannah. But we aspire higher. So then he gives us what higher is. He said the second level are people that see Allah in everything. They see Allah in his creation. They see Allah in, um, they, 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 they don't see the cause. They, they look at the trees and the beauty of the trees and they say, oh, there's a creator, right? So they see the connection between the created and the creator. And he says, this is the, the tawheed of the elect, of those that are maybe closer to God. But then he mentions a third example. And he says the third level and the level of the elect of the elect, right? The elite, the krem de la krem. He says their level is they do not see causes at all. They only see Allah even in the obvious causes. So he says, and he gives examples, he says, when the wind blows and moves a sailboat, they don't see the wind. They see Allah. They see the, 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 the one who uh, commands the wind, right? When they see uh, 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 rain falling down and vegetation, an outburst of vegetation growing, they don't see the rain as a cause. They see Allah. They, they see Allah in everything, in all causes, right? Then he gives an incredible example. He says, and walillahi mathalu al-a'la, one thing that we always need to realize when the scholars give examples, you know, they are not giving these examples to insinuate any anthropomorphism, like likening of Allah to his creation, but they only do it to bring the example closer to home, like to drive the point home. Right. So, you know, as our Sheikh teaches us, Sheikh Muhtar always says, you know, and Allah is exalted above any, you know, insinuation, anthropomorphic insinuations. They say, Allah says this in the Quran. But he gives this example. He says, Imagine a person who's about to be executed. And he is sitting before his executioner and the king. And he sees the king with a, a paper, a letter of his um, um, agreement uh, to pardon him or her, right? And he thinks to himself, if only that ink in the inkwell can somehow make its way to the pen and the tip of the pen, and somehow the pen moves and signs my pardon, right? He says, anyone who reflects on this example will say, what a foolish man. Who would put their trust in the pen? Any person with an ounce of intelligence would say, how can I get the king to sign my pardon? Not how can I get the ink to move from the inkwell to the pen? That's, that's not how people think. He said the people, the elect of the elect that are close to God, they see Allah in this way, right? They see Allah, the king, as being the soul uh, uh, per the uh, the sole one, the one and only that controls all the means that can effectuate any change in anything, right? You study it in kalam in aqidah, um, the idea of you know, um, famously like when the when the fire like burns the paper, right? Subtly. Yes, the fire burned the paper, but the fire, we don't believe as Muslims, the fire was the cause. The fire doesn't have any agency in of itself. Meaning Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, at every instant, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is commanding and is allowing the fire to have the property of heat that would burn the paper. It's not like the fire control has that in of itself. 
Because if it has that agency, that means it has some sort of power. And that only belongs to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You, you see what I'm saying? Like that's 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 a much higher level of trust. And so if I have that uh, trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and that full yaqeen and certainty that Allah has these qualities, then if Allah says do this and don't do this and these are your bounds, I will fully trust in these bounds because I know at the end of the day, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will do will, will take care of me. Whether I understand how he takes care of me or I don't understand how he takes care of me, doesn't really matter because I have full trust in his qualities as a uh, his uh, in his omnipotence in his power in his mercy in his wisdom um to dispose of my affairs in a way that's beneficial to me right that's the meaning a very brief kind of summary of what tawakkul means